Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the encoding and decoding. Uh, Java 8 now has inbuilt encoder and decoder for base64 encoding. In Java 8, you can use three types of base64 encoding. So here you can see a class which is called base64 which helps you to encode or decode some text and this class is basically available in java.util package now think is that what is encoding and decoding so let me explain what is encoding and decoding encoding is the process of putting sequence of characters like letters numbers punctuation and certain symbols into a specialized format for efficient trans transmission or storage Decode, uh, decoding is the opposite process of encoding and decoding you can define like the conversion of an encoded format back into the original sequence of character encoding and decoding are used in the data communication uh, networking and storage so here i am going to show you a demo how we can encode or decode some text uh, if you look into the class base64 then base64 has a uh, certain method like api like get encoder and corresponding get decoder again you have a get url encoder and get url decoder get third we have a third type of encoding is get mime encoder and corresponding get uh, my uh, mime decoder so basically there are three types of encoding on decoding first is the simple encoding you have a second is the url encoding and third encoding or mime type encoding there are three types of encoding and and you can see this class uses encoder which is the static inner class right and we have a uh, if you go to the base 64 again then a static de decoder this is a static inner class right so using these three classes we can perform encoding and decoding tasks here I have created a class with main method so here I'm going to show you first of all uh, here on the top of this class you can see they have listed there are three types of encoding we can perform like first is the basic encoding then second is the url uh, and file safe encoding and third type of encoding is called mime encoding so let's go ahead and try to implement encoding and decoding functionality in this example so so in main method i'm going to write first of all i'm going to create a final string and text I'm going to use Java 8 base 64 encoding decoding right so I want to encode this task I want to encode this text right so this is my text uh, you can say text data and I want to encode it so we, we can make use of the base64 class so base64 we have a method is called get encoder right and the get encoder this is a simple encoding this provides you the simple encoding and you can call you can call encode to a string and you can see this class accepts a byte array right by uh, array of byte so this string we can convert into array of byte so in a string we have a method is called get bytes right so I'm going to use this method of get bytes and there you can specify the uh, uh, cat set as well so here i'm going to specify cat set utf 
8 and finally you will get the encoded testing this this method throws some exceptions so just I have applies declare this exception I would say encoded encoded text right so we can print this encoded text and if you try to see so see this is the encoded text for this plain text right now I want to decode it so decode it I want to decode this encoded text so so that I will get back in the original format so now to decode it again we have our base 64 uh, we have a class is called get decoder for simple decoding and I would say we have a method is called decode right which again accepts a byte of array right so here you can apply this is your encoded text so you can say get byte uh, you can apply get so directly you can or let me check some there is some other method or so decode yeah one of the decode method accepts you a string itself so I'm gonna use this one so this is string you can encoded a string you can assign to this method and you can get return I mean do decoded decoded array right byte of array now we have uh, some method uh, some a string constructor you can apply like renew a string and a string has a several constructor one the constructor which accepts first argument as a uh, first argument as a byte array and second argument cat set name so here byte array I'm going to apply so this is your byte array and second character set you can say utf8 right so this is going to return you I would say decoded text text so you'll get encoded text get back into the original format and if we try to print it so decoded text and if I try to run it so we got the original text back right so this is basically example of simple uh, encoding and decoding so let me refactor this code stack method and I would say simple sorry encoding and decoding right so this is just I have refactor so that this method will get called but now I'm going to comment it and here again I'm going to show you uh, uh, URL encoding decoding so that is just a copy paste so here in case in, instead of get encoder we'll have to ap apply get URL encoder right we have a method is called get URL encoder so, so that this method will so now you are going to apply another algorithm for encoding decoding that is called URL in, in, encoding and for decoding we are will have to call get again uh, URL decoder and this other things would be same if I run this application so see this is encoding encoded text is like that and again after decoding you get text in the original format and similar fashion you can apply MIME uh, MIME decoding and MIME encoding also so if you look into the base 65 then you have a method is called get MIME encoder and uh, get MIME decoder as well right sorry there is get encoder and get MIME decoder so you can apply these two method to apply MIME encoding and MIME mine decoding so that's all I wanted to show in this video tutorial I hope you enjoyed learning this uh, encoding and decoding stuff in Java 8 and 
see you in next video tutorial thanks for watching this video